Welcome to this week's episode of Grown Man Shit, where, as I'm sure you can tell by all the shit that's on the table, we're talking about money this week. It's the end of the year, and so we're going to do our part to make sure that you and us both are on track financially in the new year. Let's talk about getting our money right, getting our money up, and getting organized so that we can have enough money to do what we have to do next year. Everybody usually starts off a new year with the resolution, new year, new me. But this year, we want to make it a new year with new green. We want to plan ahead to make sure that we make great financial decisions and lots of money next year. So one of the best ways to plan ahead is to look at the past, see what you've been spending the most money on, what you can save money on, and what you shouldn't have been spending any money on in the first damn place. Part of being on your grown man shit means talking it. That's right. You have to be able to talk your shit, but you also have to be able to back, back, back it on up. And in the name of the great Whitney Houston, we want to have receipts. Just like she said, show me the receipts. We want to be able to do just that. Record keeping is of the utmost importance in knowing what's going on in your financial world. This is especially important for creatives and entrepreneurs. If you don't have traditional nine to five employment, you want to make sure that you have receipts so that when tax season rolls around, you have a record to operate from. You can calculate the right amounts and give Uncle Sam what's his. Also, don't leave your accounting of the money up to your brain. You got a lot of things to worry about and half of y'all are stupid. So take advantage of the things that you have in place like money counters. We know that image is everything. So this is something that people only have if they need it or if they want to look like they need it. So if you're cash poor, get it all in ones and still use a money counter so you can hear that noise and feel rich. A great but underutilized resource that most of us have and don't even know it is the ecosystem of friends and colleagues around us. If you have people in your circle who are fiscally smart and financially successful, ask them what kind of systems they have in place to kind of manage their money and their finances and really use the energy of the people around you. So after you've spent time identifying your previous spending habits and looking at your financial records from before, it's already time to plan for what's next and what's coming ahead. Really look at the numbers that you came up with, see how much passive income you have, how much residual income you have, and then you can organize a game plan to move forward. If you plan on purchasing a house this year, you can say, okay, since I have $600 left every month, I can take 300 of that, put it in the savings every month to work toward a down payment for my home. The beginning of the year is also the beginning of tax season. Starting early is key to having peace of mind during tax season. There's a lot of shit that you have to organize, a lot of receipts you have to put in order, but you can have a successful go at it if you start early and take advantage of your greatest resource, which is time, so that you can be clear and free during tax season. So again, get your money up, y'all. And the only way to get it up is to get down to the middle of what the hell is going on. People, I can't stress this enough. It's a new year and you don't want to be old and broke. So start fresh at the beginning, get organized, and let's get that paper up. Happy New Year and happy new green. See y'all next time. Grown man.